I don't think anyone ever expects to wake up one morning and find themselves caught in the middle of a war between two secret organizations. I know I didn't. But here I am. On one side are the Templars, better known these days as Abstergo Industries. They're in the business of control. Politics, economics, technology. They won't stop until every single one of us serves them. Literally. Fighting against them are the Assassins, a group dedicated to safeguarding humanity's free will. I was born into the Brotherhood. A couple of weeks ago, the Templars found me. They took me prisoner, strapped me into a machine they built and put me to work. It's called an Animus. And it's where I spent most of my time, exploring the memories of my ancestors, discovering entire lives locked deep inside my DNA. First, I revisited the life of Altair ibn La'ahad, an assassin from the Crusades. The Templars wanted the location of something known as a Piece of Eden, an ancient artifact capable of bending people to their will. Once the Templars had what they were looking for, they decided my usefulness had come to an end. But Lucy saved me. Lucy. When things were at their worst, she revealed herself to be an assassin and helped me escape. I was hoping that would be the end of my misadventures. But we were just getting started. Back into another Animus I went. Now, I'm reliving the memories of Ezio Auditore da Firenze, my ancestor from the Renaissance, searching for a path forward. Through the bleeding effect, I'm becoming an assassin in more than just name. It will come in handy as the Templars prepare to enslave us all. They found us. They've crashed our hideout and we're fleeing the scene looking for a place to hide. Only there isn't any, and time is running short. My name is Desmond Miles, and this is my story. Run some diagnostics. I'll get back to you. Understand. Please wait. I have so many questions.
better in the hands of the Earth than in the hands of man. Uncle! What can I say? We sent a single man against an entire army. I was worried. Quick, climb up. We have to get out of here. I not believe the things I have seen, Mario. Then be sure to stay alive that I might hear of them. I expect opposition. And I expect the Borgia to mourn the loss of many lives tonight. Che cosa fate qui? Assassini! God will see you pay for your crimes! You have desecrated the sanctity of this holy place! You condemn what you do not understand! We must go, Ezio. Now! Che vergogna! This is the voice of the devil! Turn away from them! Did Rodrigo manage to hurt you? Barely. My armor blunted his attack. Fight. What are you doing? Saving you from the look of things. <laughs> Not bad for an old man. Agreed. You still have some food. Buona questa. Excellent. Good one. Impressive. <laughs> Not on my watch! <laughs> oh. This decision is yours alone to make. Only do so quickly! Give it to me. You can do with it as you will later. Bene. Jump! And then Minerva talked about the sun. She told of a disaster that occurred long ago, and another that is coming. Sometime far in the future, Vero. Then we need not worry about it. See, si. Perhaps our work is finished. Would that be so bad? Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> we upgraded the arsenal while you were away. Oh. And it is now customary for you to fire cannonballs at visitors. My apologies. We only installed them a few days ago. My men are still being trained in their use. It's good to be home. Two of them. Felice anno nuovo. This place just keeps getting better. Thanks to you. Brother. Claudia. It is good to be home. How is mother? 
She's fine. I, I heard you were returning, but I'm glad to see it with my own eyes. The Contessa of Forli is here to welcome you. I had no idea you were so famous. Katarina? Here? Is it finished, then? Is the Spaniard truly dead? Gather the others in Mario's study tonight. I'll explain everything there. Steal yourself, Ezio. They will have many questions. Claudia, tell the Contessa I look forward to seeing her this evening. Need some help? Salve. So many flowers. Your husband must be very lucky. I am the lucky one. I have you here to aid me. Let me see what I can do. Back there, I may have given you the wrong impression. Oh? I have no husband. The flowers are for a party. Am I invited? To Claudia Auditori's birthday party in the villa. If you are willing to help me again, I need someone with class to accompany me. What makes you think I have class? I could tell the moment I saw you. No one in this town walks with such bearing. I'm certain Ezio Auditori himself would be impressed. Oh? What do you know of Ezio? Claudia thinks the world of him, but he rarely visits her. From what I gather, he's distant. She is right. I have been. Oh no. You? The party was intended to be a surprise. Promise you will not tell Claudia. What will you do to keep me quiet? I am sure I can think of several things. I'll be waiting to hear them when we get there. Now about earning my silence. I have something in mind. There is one condition. Anything. You must wait until tomorrow. If it pleases you, I will not stand in your way. It will be worth the wait, Ezio. Trust me. So, these are the new cannons? Yes, Signor Ezio. May I try one? Yes, but... Go on, tell him. We cannot seem to make them work properly, and the fool who mounted them is nowhere to be found. Then it is up to me to find him. We do not want to waste your time. It is not any trouble. I have all the time in the world now. Salve, Messere. We need you to fix the cannons on the battlements. Leave me be. I do not begin repairs before noon. Do you know what time it is? I make cannons, not clocks. If you are busy, someone else will fix them. Uno momento. No one else will touch my cannons. Soldiers have no respect for artillery. They expect a gun to work like magic. You need to feel her out. Give her a little encouragement. We are only equipped with simple cannons now, but I got hold of a design from France, yeah? a hand cannon. Something called a wrought iron murderer. Imagine firing a cannon from your hands. <laughs> that is the future. What have you done? We used them. They were not ready for firing. You could have gotten us all killed. Let me see. <laughs> His breath is more fatal than our cannons. Only when you two fools are shooting them. There, try it. I must go. Thanks for your help. If you hear the cannons tomorrow, do not worry. We will be practicing at dawn. Too bad it will not do you any good. Very funny. Now fix the second cannon. Buongiorno. Ezio, Mario is going to murder me. I have lost his favorite horse. Do not despair. I will bring it back. God bless you, Ezio. Hey. Ah, here. Grazie, Ezio. I can no longer keep up with the horses. Promise me you will enjoy your good health. Do not spend as much time in battle as your Uncle Mario. My battles have already been won. That is good news. Arrivederci, Ezio. Buongiorno, Ezio. Caterina, 
To what do I owe the pleasure of your presence here? I desire an allegiance. The Papal armies have resumed their march on Forli. Your mercenaries would be a great asset to my cause. It is likely that I can give you what you seek. But we will talk later. Mother! Machiavelli. It is done. Though not, I think, as any of us expected. I entered the Vaticano and faced Rodrigo. He used the power of the papal staff against me, but I defeated him. Combining the staff and the apple, I gained access to the vault. There, a moving painting of the goddess Minerva spoke. She told of a terrible tragedy to befall mankind in the future, but gave hope of lost temples that will provide aid to humanity. And then she called out to a phantom, Desmond, as if he were there, standing beside me. After her warning, she vanished. Amazing. I cannot imagine such wonders. The vault did not house the terrible weapon we feared. This is good news. What of this goddess, this Minerva? Did she appear human? Yes, but her words proved otherwise. All of her kind died many years ago. I wish I could show you the magic she performed. Who is Desmond, and where are these temples Minerva spoke of? I do not know. Perhaps we must search for them. Tell me how it ended with Borgia. Did Rodrigo beg forgiveness? Make excuses? Promise power in return? No. None of those things. Interesting. I'm surprised he remained so composed. I let him leave. The Spaniard lives? Once our enemies are dead, we can speak of vaults and gods and ancient places. You should have killed him. We're sure to suffer for it. I am not here to debate the past. Together, we should discuss the future. No. I am leaving immediately for Roma. Ezio, I do not know why you spared him, but I trust your judgment. Machiavelli will come around. Welcome home. Ready to go again? <laughs> you don't need to ask. <laughs> One should always have the freedom to choose. Shh. What's that? <sighs> Probably just training exercises. Merda. 
I have to find Mario and rally the troops. My men are in the courtyard. I aim to lead them around back and flank our attackers. Stay out of sight. Borgia. How did we not see this? They must have massed to the east during the night. We need to hold them off until the townspeople have escaped. I will take care of it. Use the cannons above the rampart. I intend to lead a frontal assault. Do you have it? I am keeping it safe. The Borgia must not be allowed to breach the walls until everyone is safely away. Insieme per la vittoria. Insieme. Uncle, be careful. I will. told me about you and your little group of assassins. And this! Give me the gun his friend fashioned for us! We've had too much bloodshed. I think the cleansing is in order. So consider this an invitation from my family! To yours! I can walk. Look out! They are coming! Everyone, retreat to the villa! Ugh, I cannot fight like this. Stand with me! Now, get him! There he is! How long before you die? Get inside the sanctuary! 
двери! You with the hood? What are you doing? I can't. I will hold them back. Stop! Wait for us! We thought you had been killed, Sir Ezio. Not yet. Where does this passage lead? To the north, outside the walls. I am surprised it exists. Let me through. I must go help the troops. Where's mother? Is she all right? I am here, Ezio. Grazie, Dio. We could not leave without you. The way out will be dangerous. Protect our mother. Where is Mario? I thought he would be waiting for us. The Borgia infantry are circling the town! Mario is dead. You must leave this place. Take mother to Firenze. Get me a horse! You are not coming with us. Where are you riding? To Roma. Go, my son. Destroy them. But remember for whom we assassins fight. <laughs> Lucy, I can't seem to get a position on Ezio's P.O.E. P.O.E.? Could one of you tell me what's going on? Sorry, Desmond. Peace of Eden. In the Vatican, Minerva talked about other temples, that they're the key to preventing whatever terrible thing is about to happen to the Earth. Right. Find the temples, I'm convinced we need to get our hands on Ezio's Apple of Eden. Minerva altered it somehow when she touched it. Wait, we're at the Auditore Villa. Yes, it's our last safe house in Italy. It turns out the Templars are watching the border. Ezio hid the POE sometime in 1507, but when I try to access that DNA sequence, he seems to be remembering something else. Like a memory inside a memory? Yes, exactly. Maybe. Exactly, maybe. I believe you experienced something similar back at Abstergo, didn't you? Subject 15 exhibited memory within memory-like patterns, but she was pregnant. The memories of both the fetus's father and mother were competing. Desmond's not pregnant, at least, well, as far as I can tell. Might just have had a big lunch. Can you skip ahead to a later memory? No, it doesn't work. Well, that sounds familiar. We couldn't access Altair's later memories until Desmond had improved his synchronization. Then it's possible something similar has occurred here. Ezio's troubled state is being transposed onto Desmond, destabilizing the memory. Either that, or Rebecca's just not a very good engineer. Thanks, asshole. What? I'm simply listing possible explanations. And that is amongst the most likely. Touchy. This place isn't secure. Cell phone surveillance can see right through the walls. Don't you mean satellite surveillance? Are you kidding? Abstergo upgraded to cell towers ages ago. The waves go through everything above ground. They're gonna find us. No, they aren't. Come with me. There's a beam blocking it from the inside. We're not getting in this way. What's her next move? The road just loops back into the highway. This is not a good place for us to be right now. Do we have any tarps? We need to cover up the van. I really hate to stress this, yeah, but we are running out of time. Well, help us then, Sean. Do you have any ideas? I don't know. Maybe there's another way into the sanctuary. Hey, I think I've got something.
Follow me. Desmond, that was pretty... awesome. It just felt natural. We can get in through here. Good job. We'll just wait up here then, shall we? Yeah, all alone, with, with massive targets painted on our backs. <sighs> Why won't this turn on? It's great to be out of the Animus. This isn't exactly my idea of a good time. Well, let me guess. You're more the embedded six type. What? Desmond. I know how to have fun. Oh, that's very convincing. Yeah, I'm convinced. Okay, okay. After we save the world, I'll show you. Wait, can I get that in writing? <laughs> we have light. What was that? I don't see anything. Run! Get out before Isoldati gets you! Correte! Go! They escaped through here. What? Ezio and the villagers. After the attack, I can see them now. I know it's difficult, but try to compartmentalize, Desmond. Focus on the present. What if I can't stop the visions? How long before I start painting symbols on the walls? Don't joke about that. Sixteen is dead. We're focusing on the present, okay? Great. It's stuck. I can get under there. Ready. Any chance you can lift that gate? Not unless you want me to end up like that skeleton. I'll find a way around. I can drop into the corridor below through here. Watch out for bats. Where? I meant in case you see any. Remind me not to make you a lookout. Desmond? <sighs> More ghosts. I'm here, okay? Stay with me. Ezio! Did anything fall on you? No. Is Mother all right? Desmond, we can't climb this. How about you give me a boost? That's a bad idea. I could throw you into the air and you grab the ledge. Even worse. Follow me. <laughs> How about this? What are you going to... <gasps> nice job. I aim to please. I wonder how old these tunnels are. Middle Ages, probably. Luckily, the beams still hold our weight. After all this time in the Animus, I'm not so sure. Yeah, I didn't want to say anything, but you're really getting fat. Ouch. I even told Rebecca to widen the Animus. Seriously? No. Up we go. Ready. You know, when I came here last... When Ezio came here. Yeah, I meant Ezio. I shouldn't put you through all this. It's not right. Hey, all joking aside, I'm having the time of my life. And it's thanks to you. Just focus on where you're going, okay? When did this become my job? If I pulled all the levers, then what would be left for you? Nothing. Nice try. Ready? Found a switch!
Something's open. I'm stuck over here, but I can see a lever across the water. Great. Ezio gets a bath with Katarina Sforza, and I get a swim in a toilet. I've got this one! There's another lever up ahead. Come over here! Oh man, it's freezing! Stop whining! It's easy for you to say. You aren't swimming in medieval toxic waste. Ugh. I smell terrible. You're exaggerating. Remember, this is the time of your life. Yeah, yeah. Ready? Go for it. Okay, How come you don't have to get wet? Because you're here. Charming. Aren't I? I've got you. Thanks. Great. The bridge is out. We can't jump this. I have an idea. You'll have to help me. Stand at the edge and get ready. Ready. <sighs> Made it! Let me see... Oh, you go on ahead. I'll just stay here to die in the dark with the bats. Jump across. Nice work. The bats will be disappointed. For now. Soldati, I have found an entrance. You'd think these stairs would lead somewhere. But they don't. Well, life is full of disappointments. I'll wait here. Good. Let me just go and get that bridge down for you. Uh, I did the last one. And I'm sure that will be your last one. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Got it! Thank you, Desmond. It's my turn to even the score. There. Thanks. It's a start. Do your magic.
Ezio must have come back here way after the attack. But why? Desmond! Right. Let's open that door. There's something here. Can you open the damn bookcase? You guys did it! About bloody time. What's that? Looks like something Ezio left behind. There are numbers underneath it. 1419. 1420... and 1421. Maybe you should lie down for a bit. No, it's all right. I'm fine. Whoa! They really built this place to last. No signs of structural damage. No cell signal either. Should be safe to set up. Let's get the Animus down there. Okay, everything's good here. Sean, hide the van in town, and make sure you aren't followed. What? What is that smell? It's my clothes. They smell like you swam through a sewer. It was Lucy's idea. Wait a second, guys. We need power down here. There's a line running nearby I can hook into, but the wattage is weak. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Anything else you two would like? You know, some caviar, perhaps? Maybe you'd like me to, to knit you a lovely hat. No? Fine. Follow me. I'm back. Just in time. The sun's rising. Yes! It's booted. We're good to go. Did you miss me? No? Anyone? Hello? Am I speaking out loud? Hello? Workaholics. Let's get started. What are we gonna do about Abstergo? Wait it out. As soon as we find the Apple, I get in contact with our other teams in Europe, but as far as Italy goes, we're on our own. It'd be nice to have some help from above! Our top assassins are busy gathering info about the Templar satellite launch. We've pinpointed several possible facilities in the US, China, and Russia, but there are no clear leads yet. What are the other teams doing? Combating Abstergo's search for Pieces of Eden. As far as I know, Abstergo has no clue about the Temple's Anizio's Apple. We might actually be ahead for once. We'll talk later. Now get in there and find the Apple. We're counting on you. Do you have any clue about those numbers under the drawing? 1419, 1420, 1421. Maybe something to do with the Hundred Years' War. Or, or wait, in 1419, Pope Martin V arrived in Florence, right? He, he left for Rome in 1420, and that was the same year Brunelleschi began building the Duomo. And in 1421... Um, in 1421... Yeah, I'll have to do some more research, I think. So, what do you think of Monteregioni? This is not Monteregioni. Monteregioni existed in the Renaissance. Ask me how the town was in 1554 when it was seized by Florence and I'll tell you. Huh. I figured you'd like it nowadays. Seems not to have changed much. Exactly. History is the study of change. Change is life. When things become static, it means they're dead. My work requires attention, Desmond. You seem focused. I've been busy patching new systems into Baby here. She's only gonna get better. Is Desmond gonna be able to relive memories this time? 
Matter of fact, he will. You always a tech geek? Nah, I was into sports, but then I broke my leg and started playing with computers. Who knew that coding could be just as exhilarating as strapping on a board and dropping out of a helicopter? Just FYI, you might want to get your adrenal glands checked. You know? Because that... that is not normal. Focusing on this. As you may have noticed in the van, I've made some improvements to the Animus, and I've also patched in a new VR training program. To stop your subconscious from rejecting Ezio's later memories, you're gonna have to live them in the order his genome recorded them. Highlight sequence two for me, Desmond. Good, now select it, and you're gonna see the memories inside. Once you've unlocked a memory by accessing this menu, you can relive it as many times as you want. But what if there are memories I just want to forget? Desmond, this is very important. If you need to take a break, log out of the Animus. You can leave the machine whenever you like. I'm all set to go. Don't worry. One last thing. As you raise your synchronization by executing events the way Ezio lived them, you might even discover some repressed memories. Okay, let's get started. Select the first memory. Calmatevi. The pain will end soon. Where have you brought me? Nowhere, Messere. A man left you here. Did he say anything? Only this. You are to meet Messer Machiavelli in front of the Mausoleo di Augusto. Let me help you get dressed. The same man who brought me here gave me these clothes? Si, Messere. Yes, or what is left of it since the Borgia came to power. And the mausoleo? Unfortunately, you cannot see it from here. How about from the top of that church? Yes, but the stairs up are closed. That should not be a problem. Vi ringrazio di tutto quello che avete fatto per me, buona donna. Addio. Salute. I require medicine. Ah, let me look. Someone your age cannot recover from a wound like this with medicine. Here is something to dull the pain. You will heal over time. Grazie. Four out of five doctors will suggest leeches, but they have not proven effective against such things. However, I can recommend several good colleagues around the city. Do you need anything else? out that a peasant is resisting arrest. We will show him how things operate under the Borgia. Machiavelli can wait.
beautiful. <laughs> she was. Until that porco defiled her. I wish he'd just killed her. I wish he'd just killed La Mia Mata. People who saw her grow up cheered when he spat on her. Smiles on their faces when her neck... I understand. How can you? My Livia was innocent. I have lost family to the rope. To treachery. Il Carnefice watches from his home on the hill above. He threatens to hang me if I cut her rope. When you are ready, take her down. I will deal with Il Carnefice. Nice. You want a cake? Uh, not my best. But it's hard to make art with poor me. Requiescat in pace. You won't get away with this. Drag you to hell with! Ezio, what a surprise to see you here. I thought you had sent for me. Never. News of the villa attack has spread across the city. We were certain that you were dead. Not yet. I am still very much alive. The Borgia must not discover that you escaped. Follow me. Take care not to draw any undue attention. When do I ever? My brother's wife. Should we not travel by horse? Roma is quite large. As Cesare's conquests in Romagna continue to succeed and the Borgia grow in power, they have taken desirable areas of the city for themselves. We cannot use the stables here. Oh. The will of the Borgia is law now. What are you implying, Ezio? Do not play dumb with me, Machiavelli. Do you have some kind of plan? I am improvising. Wait! Oh, Stop right there! Come on, you lazy dog! We want a Saxon to rob! <laughs> oh, oh, the Borgia! Let's kill you this guy! Get back! Just because you kill a few guards does not mean the people will grant access to the stables. You are right. We need to send a signal. Wait here. It seems the stable is now available for purchase. After you. You are wrong. Our belief in humanity rests at the heart of the Assassin Brotherhood. <laughs> he must be from your inner circle. Go, get back what he has stolen. Did you liberate your money from our friend? I did. A small victory. They are up. And in time, with work, we'll have a few dozen more. And in time, Cesare's gaze will return to us, and we'll be broken again. Now, where is my contact, Vinicio? He should have already intercepted the letter. Follow me. He was attempting to steal official Vatican mail. Perdonati, mi signore. You must be mistaken. Who are you working for, ladro? I am working for no one. Then no one will care what we do to you. Where is it? The 
Gorya still has the letter. Ezio, stop him! Find me at the Thermes! murderers come from. They must have come from in here. The followers of Romulus. This band of false pagans has been terrorizing the city for months and driving the people into the arms of the church. Quite convenient. Exactly. I believe the Borgia are supporting them, but proof remains scarce. That is why the letter is so important. Here it is. I hope you can break a cipher. Cazzo. Another encryption. This one was supposed to be legible. They are transmitting them using a code sheet. Without it, we have nothing. Sometimes logic is not the only way to win a war. Antiamo, you said we had allies in this city. Bring me to them. Follow me. We recently began traveling through the tunnels to avoid the guards, but many of the entrances in the city are broken. By using them, we can get to our destination rapidly without encountering resistance. Ben trovato, Nicolo. Ah, Ser Ezio. A pleasure. Fabio Orsini, at your service. I've heard a great deal about you from my cousin, Bartolomeo Dalviano. A fine warrior. Fabio has lent us in a new storeroom on Isola Tiberina. I know you were used to better accommodations in Toscana. It is perfect. Bene. Then I am off to begin preparations for Romagna. Today Cesare commands my men, but soon I hope we will be free. Now I propose we begin planning our assault on the Borgia. Oh, you think we are ready for such an attack? See, si. 
Do you know, for instance, where the Borgia troops took Caterina Sforza? What? Are you also unaware that the Borgia have captured the Apple of Eden? How could we have lost the Apple? So, you do not know what goes on with our enemies. Do we at least have an underground here to work with? Hardly. Our mercenaries are ensnared in a losing battle with Cesare's French allies. We have girls working for us in a brothel, frequented by cardinals and other important Romans. But the madam there is lazy, and would rather attend parties than further our cause. What about the city's thieves? Do they have a guild? Si, but they refuse to talk to us. I don't know why. What are you going to do? Make some friends. Break time! Everything all right? I don't like being stuck underground with them out there looking for us. You're doing a great job. We're safe here. But for how long? Vidic won't give up. I know it. Neither will we. We have work to do. You still managing the teams out in the field? No phone line. Rebecca's working on patching us into the network. So how's it feel letting the lady do all the work? She's no lady. Hey! You think we're safe here? I'm more concerned with the other assassins out there. If Abstergo stumbles onto information about the temples, we could have a disaster on our hands. The only people alive who've heard of the temples are here in this room. For now? And who knows, maybe they're listening to this conversation and you just gave everything away! You brought them up first. You are paranoid, Desmond. Ah. Well played. My work requires attention, Desmond. Why do we have to stay down here all day? Abstergo's still looking for us. It'd be better if we never went out at all, but then we'd run out of supplies. It's like being in a cave during a rainstorm. Yeah, well, knowing the Templars, monsoon season's about to arrive. You ever use the Animus? Your ancestors have such interesting lives. I went in once. It was pretty lame. Yeah, what were you? Some kind of spinster, probably. Worse, a Prussian mercenary. I spent hours firing guns. Boring! Yeah, guns are for sissies. Focusing on this. Ezio's waiting. Welcome to the Rosa in Fiore, stranger. Salve. Would you be kind enough to call the owner for me? Madonna Solari is not in. Do you know where she is? I... Aiuto! Aiuto! Madonna Solari! Oh, Lucia! We thought you were gone for good. The men took us on a ship. And they released me, but she... Who took you on a ship? Slave traders, Messere. Near Isola Tiberina. They want coin in exchange for her life. I will get her back. Are you here for the whore? I have your money. Let her go! No! Take it up with Cesare! Mother? Sister? Ezio. Sir Machiavelli said that you might be here. What are you doing in Roma? Has Firenze been attacked? No, or rather, I do not know. We did not go to Firenze. Why? Ezio, we want to help. 
I was trying to help you by sending you to Fidenze. Where is Madonna Solari? She's dead. Merda. What now? Will we have to close? You cannot close. I need your help. Messere, without someone who can run things, we're finished. I'll do it. You do not belong here, Claudia. I know how to run a business. I ran Uncle Mario's for years. This is different. What alternative do you have, Ezio? You do this, Claudia. And you are on your own. I've been on my own for 20 years. Fine. I intend to repair the brothel. This place is a real mess. And I want your courtesans to find Katarina Sforza. You can count on us. Grazie. Addio. Welcome to the Rosa in Fiore. As you can see, the most popular brothel in Roma. My money went well invested. Here, I keep a list of the skills taught to my girls. You're not teaching them much. Think you could do better? Nessun problema. Ezio, the Borgia make it difficult for Claudia's girls. There are several things you could do that would aid them. I will keep that in mind. Anything else? No. Ezio. Did you find Caterina? We are working on it. Bene. Come to see me at Isola Tiberina with her location. <laughs> Ezio. La Volpe. I'm surprised to see you. And why have you appeared at my door? Wait, I know the answer. You always do. You want to put my spies to work? Then join me. In aiding Machiavelli? No, thank you. That man is a traitor to our order. A serious allegation coming from a thief. What is your proof? He was an ambassador to the papal court and traveled as a personal guest of Cesare himself. I also know he abandoned you right before the villa attack. Machiavelli may not please all tastes, but he is an assassin. Not a traitor. I am not convinced. Ah, he is meeting someone in the Trastevere right now. Care to accompany me? I will follow. What do you make of that? Help! Volpe! My son Claudio has been injured! They are going to shoot him. I will kill these. Go! Get the others! from the guards. I cannot. They are going to kill me. Pay attention. Do what I do. Stay close. Well, Claudio! Molte grazie, Messeri. Keep out of sight for a while, Desi. The guards are looking for you. I see they have posters up. Then rip them down. You can pay the heralds a few florins to silence them. Or I can eliminate witnesses. <laughs> You know how to disappear. What a night this has been. Volpe, listen to me. I know what we saw. 
But you have nothing to fear from Machiavelli. I am sure of it. I have you to thank for saving Claudio's life. If you believe Machiavelli remains loyal to the Order, I trust you. So, what of the thieves? We had plans to repair this old building, but now that you and I are working together, I would like to know what you think. We need to make sure the Borgias stay away. Perhaps it could look like an inn. Yes. Hmm, I like that idea. Then I will make it so. Welcome, Ezio, to La Volpe Addormentata. The inn looks perfect. No one will ever suspect its real purpose. The guild will be run from here. Visit me whenever you like. There might be objectives to pursue that will help our cause in the city. I see you thieves compete against each other. You can participate if you wish. Perhaps you will show them a thing or two. Ah, yes, I forgot. We also have gambling. It is a great source of income, especially since we ensure that the Borgia guards always lose. One last thing. I need your spies to find the apple. It has been taken from me. We are searching the city for it already. Molto bene. Come to Isola Tiberina with your findings. I shall. Ezio Auditore! Come in, come in! I'll kill you if you don't. <laughs> Bartolomeo. Wait here! You have to meet my wife! Fantasilea! Fantasilea! Where is she? Did you check behind the table? Ah, here she is. Lieta di conoscervi. Charmed. Truly. Now, we talk about war. How goes the fight against the French? Bene. My men are holding their own. Machiavelli seemed to think things were more difficult. You know Machiavelli... Abbiamo bisogno del vostro aiuto! Scusatemi. Throw me Bianca. Ezio, let me get straight to the point. The fight is not going well. We have been attacked on both sides. Borgia on one, French on the other. But know this. The Borgia position is weak. If you can defeat them, we can concentrate our forces on the French front. I think I know a way to help. Thank you for disclosing this to me, Madonna Dalviano. It is the least a wife can do to help her husband. Someone stop their leader before he gets to the tower! No, you will not have me! Send those luridi codardi running for the hills. Yes, we did. Now that the Pope's dogs have fled, I will be able to draw more men to the fight. But first I want to reinforce our barracks. Who will take care of this? I'm no good with these things. You are the educated one. You approve the plans. Va bene. But in return, I need to know Cesare and Rodrigo's every move. Can your men keep track of them for me? Of course.
Grazie. Come again, please. Isn't she a thing of beauty? Very impressive. More men join us every day. It has become very competitive, which is just the way I like it. As you can see, this board shows the ranks of our top warriors. Prove your skills, and you will move up the list. <laughs> Shouldn't I already be at the top? Jan's fighting downstairs! If you're looking to show off, we also have fights. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got money on this match. <laughs> Where is Bartolomeo? At the fight downstairs. He has such an aggressive view of the world. However, strategy is equally important. Take these carrier pigeons, for example. Each one sent from Machiavelli bears the name of an important Templar in Roma. Eliminate them, and you will have more of an impact than a battle ever could. Thank you, Madonna. Can you ask Bartolomeo to come see me at Isola Tiberina with a report about Cesare and Rodrigo's whereabouts? He will be there. Machiavelli, we must talk. Yes. I secured something of great worth from one of my contacts. We now have the names of several Templar agents Cesare has recruited to terrorize Roma. How do I find them? I can give you a general location. I suggest looking for signs of distress nearby. Perhaps you will uncover citizens who can point you in the right direction. My contact will continue searching for more names. This information came from a city guard. Yes. How did you know? Lucky guess. Grazie. Claudia, Bartolomeo, and La Volpe are waiting for you inside. I can't imagine how you did it. Virtù, Machiavelli. Virtù? What have you discovered? That bastardo Cesare is in the Castel Sant'Angelo with the Pope. My spies tell me that the apple has been secreted to someone for a study. I am working on determining his identity. Caterina will be moved to the prison within the Castello next week. Bene. So the Castello it is. Roma will heal quickly with Cesare and Rodrigo gone. Only if the opportunity to assassinate them arises will I take it. Do not repeat your mistake in the vault. You must kill them now. I'm with Machiavelli, Ezio. We should not wait. Bartolomeo is right. They must pay for Mario's death. Do not worry. They will die. You have my word. Break time! You ever killed anyone? Hello to you, too. I dated a guy who was an electronics expert around the time the assassins first contacted me. And? Now I'm single. Are you kidding? Of course I'm kidding! You think I would joke about someone I actually killed? Death is only funny when it isn't happening in front of you. I should know. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. I noticed you didn't patch the translation software. Nah, it's still buggy. There's only the occasional glitch in the Italian, but if you hit any German or French, watch out. Focusing on this. Any theories about that cipher Machiavelli handed me? That's you, I mean. I can't decode it without the key. It's a one-time pad. What's that? It's a cipher with a unique disposable key. Imagine someone used the first letter of each word in the Declaration of Independence to encipher something. Well, without the Declaration itself, you couldn't decrypt it. I could run it through the computer. There are some things even a computer can't do. Like, like love, Rebecca. Like love. So, Sean, any lions outside the Pride? Who was that girl you were dating? Kate? Ah, uh, yeah. Kate. Katie, 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 kitty cat Kate. Charm the pants right off her, I did. Yeah, right. I know for a fact you didn't even get to second base. Oh, did, did, what? 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 
We had lunch. You had lunch with Kate? Whatever, I got work to do. You know I love talking about this stuff, Desmond, but we have work to do now. Any news from the outside? Rebecca's patched in a phone line. The Templars are still guarding the border, and Vidic seems to be busy too. Doing what? From the looks of things, he's using Animus data to train Abstergo operatives. Meaning? Abstergo's preparing for a full-on assault. Weren't you the only assassin at Abstergo's Animus facility? How are you getting data from them? Some old passwords work, but I can't dig very far into the network. There's no time to talk. Good to go. Salve, cittadini di Roma. Behold a sight most splendid. Caterina Sforza, she whore of Forli has at last been brought to heel. Ha! No one kneels as low as Lucrezia Borgia! Who put you up to this? Was it your brother or your father? Perhaps a bit of both? Perhaps at the same time? Chiudi la bocca! None speak ill of the Borgia! The same will happen to any who defy us! Good people of Roma! Stay strong! You will be free! Your time will come! I swear it! They are going to torture her. You are here for Cesare and Rodrigo. Caterina is a powerful ally. If we help her now while she is weak, she will aid us in return. Perhaps. But kill Cesare and Rodrigo first. Forget the Pope, you only answer to me. Roma is the pillar that holds our entire enterprise aloft. She cannot waver, which means neither can you. What of Il Vaticano? That tired old man's club. Play along for now, but soon we will have no need of them. He's left us Roma. She'll be in good hands. Cesare. Lucrezia. I hope you have treated our guest with kindness. I've got a mouth on her. How I'd love to sew it shut. I rather like it open myself. Oh. <laughs> have you talked to the Pope about the funds requested by my banker? He is away from the Castello, and he might need some convincing when he returns. That shouldn't be a problem. Should it? No. Only it gets quite lonely here. You and I spend so little time together these days, busy as you are with your other conquests. Soon. Once I have secured the throne of Italia, you are going to be my queen. And your loneliness will be a thing of the past. I cannot wait. Behave yourself while I am gone. Disappointed.
Open her cell. How was the journey to Roma? Did you sit in Cesare's private carriage? You're pathetic, Lucrezia. What did he talk about? His plans for Napoli? Did you like it? I can't remember. Perhaps you will remember this. Ah! That puts you in your place. Lock it and give me the key. Paying a visit to the tailor. Rescuing me will provoke Cesare's wrath. Fortunately for us, he is away. Any chance there is a second key? The guard handed his to Lucrezia, so I assume not. Do you know where she is? Her quarters are at the top of the castello. All right, stay here. That key is as good as mine. I'm not going anywhere. I love you so. I want to sing it to the heavens. Please, you must whisper it only to yourself. If Cesare found out, who knows what he would do. Are you not newly widowed? He killed my husband. Oh. Cesare has always been jealous of my attentions. But that should not deter us. No. I will keep that secret. What was that? I... I'm late for rehearsal. Farewell, my love. I heard the entire exchange, Mia Signora, and can vouch for it. Good. Tell Cesare. We shall see how it feels when the shoe is on the other foot. Yes, Signora. He loves me not. He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. Please, continue. I did not mean to interrupt. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. How nice to finally meet after hearing so much. A pity Cesare is no longer here. He would have enjoyed this. My fight is not with you, Lucrezia. Free Caterina, and I will stand down. Impossible. Then you leave me no choice. Guards! I cannot leave you out here to cause trouble, so you're coming with me. Scream, however, and I will be forced to take your tongue. Rescuing princesses from castles now? Salute, Lucrezia. How I've missed you. By a farty fotter at Troia. Always a pleasure. Bring her here, I'll take the key. Oh, classy. Guards! Guards! <laughs> That's enough out of you! Can you walk? No. I guess we are going out the front. Wait here. As if I have a choice. What are you doing, Ezio? Uh, why save me, Ezio? With Forley taken, I am useless to you. You have a family. It is not your family. That night at the villa, I had to ensure our allegiance to protect Forley. Do you understand, Ezio? 
Hey, la Politica. Of course. I knew it. You did not explain. Caterina. Di Dei. Di Cesare. No. My name must still have some small value. I was left unspoiled. Don't you dare! <laughs> nice hideaway. Always best to be thorough. Figlio di putana! Never do that to me again. Uh, hurry, Ezio! Ride across the bridge. I will cover you. Go to Isola Tiberina. Find Machiavelli there. He will be waiting for me. What about you? Someone has to stay here and distract the guards. Get back in one piece, or I will never forgive myself. Go! Where is Machiavelli? I could not find him. I brought the Contessa here. Caterina. Care to tell us where you have been? Looking for Ezio. What of Cesare and Rodrigo? Cesare rode off before I could get close to him. And Rodrigo was somewhere else entirely. That is odd. Rodrigo is usually at the Castello. Very odd indeed. What a waste. No offense. None taken. With Cesare gone to Urbino, we must build our forces. I thought we intended to strike now. Impossible. Cesare commands a massive army in Romagna. You would never reach him. I say we work here, in Roma. Erode the Borgia's influence while restoring our own. And in fact, I want to begin right now. Volpe, bring Claudia and Bartolomeo here. Machiavelli, meet me outside. Take care of her. Look, the Borgia rob everything from the people to maintain power. What do you intend to do? We will recruit him to our cause. You cannot be serious. To win this war, Machiavelli, we need loyal soldiers. By recruiting enemies of the state, we arm those who have been disarmed by the Borgia. Go then. Recruit our first novices. The liberation of Roma has begun. You have my thanks and my respect. Allow me to serve you. Who did this? That monster, Malfatto! Did you see him? That way! Requiescat in pace.
Bambi, why do you cry? They're going to take my mama on a boat ride. They say I will go on the next one. Who? A man from the castle came with guards and arrested us. He scared me. They are scary. But you look very brave. Will you bring my mama back? Take your mother. Down that street. Good. Do you have some place to go for now? My uncles. Go there. Do not stop to talk to anyone. But children, Silvestro. To secure his reign, Cesare needs to control the populace. Fear. Requiescat in pace. Ezio! Leonardo! I knew you were behind the break-in at Sant'Angelo. It is good to see you, friend. Come here! Forgive me. The Borgia have commandeered my services. Actually, they would have killed me had I refused. What do they want? War machines. I have constructed weapons for all the Borgia guards and other terrible monstrosities besides. They are very well designed, Ezio. Here, the names of the Templars overseeing their construction. Cesare intends to supply his army with my creations. You must dismantle them. Grazie. I will take care of the plans and the machines. There is far graver news, I am afraid. They have the apple. Yes, I know. I gave the apple to Mario. I am sorry, Ezio. Cesare left it in my hands to study, to make it work. Then Rodrigo took it from me. I know not where. I will recover it in time. Leonardo, I have lost all the Codex inventions you want fashioned for me. Hmm. Remaking them will be easy. I never forget the design. But you must compensate me for the raw material. Really? They are not paying you at Il Vaticano? Very, very little. If we are to do this, we must appear to not meet at all. A hand pointing. It's pointing to where you should sit. So sit. Yes, Maestro. Desmond, I've scanned Leo's location into the map so you can keep track of him when he moves. To synchronize with Ezio, you will have to destroy Leo's machines. I've marked the whereabouts of the Templars overseeing their construction. I'll update the map when the machine's locations are found. to safety should anything happen. Go home! If you do not, all of you will 
die! Where have you been? We all have our secrets. I took the liberty of setting up a means of communication with your recruits. We send orders via carrier pigeon. Thank you, Machiavelli. Bartolomeo sends his apologies. The French have doubled their assault. Claudia. Ezio. All right. I have a plan to deal with the Borgia. We can either go after supplies or Cesare's followers. My plan is to attack both. If we cut off his funds, Cesare will lose his army and return without his men. So, I ask you, where does he get his money? Volpe? Agostino Chigi is the Pope's moneylender, but Cesare does business with someone else. As of now, all we know is that he is called the Banker. I know someone who owes the Banker money. Senator Egidio Troche comes in all the time and complains. Bene, I will follow up on that lead. French soldiers are guarding the road back into the castello. Once Cesare arrives, you will never get to him. I intend to kill the French general. With him dead, Bartolomeo will have the Frenchmen on the defensive, and they will abandon their posts on the bridge. Even with those troops gone, the Papal Guard will continue to protect the inner gate. There is a side entrance. Lucrezia's latest plaything, Pietro, has a key. He was at the castello. Come see me later. I will have my thieves ascertain his location. Where are you going? I am of no use to anyone without Forli. I leave to be with my children, and await the restoration of my lands. I wish you would stay. You are the leader of the assassins now. Unite them, Ezio Aditore, and take back Roma. Victoria gli assassini! Vittoria agli assassini. Welcome back, Desmond. What happened to Caterina Sforza? She went back to Florence and petitioned unsuccessfully for the return of her lands. Then she died of pneumonia. That's sad. That's life. Well, that's death, technically, but you take my point. We ever gonna visit the head assassins? I heard about this meeting place when I was younger. Apparently it exists, though I'm not sure, because I've never been. You'll get to see it once we have the apple. Well, I expect amazing things. A private espresso bar, for example. What a waste of money. You obviously aren't an espresso drinker. You know I love talking about this stuff, Desmond, but we have work to do now. How's the power situation? It's okay for now, but the power lines are from the Stone Age. Bloody third world country! You're talking about Italy. No, Europe in general. I didn't know England was a third world country. England is not in Europe, actually, Rebecca. We, we tolerate Europe, you know? Like, like a person tolerates herpes. How did you manage to create a copy of the Animus? Ah, you know, Lucy sent me schematics. I thought she couldn't get anything out of Abstergo. She had her ways. I improvised on the rest. Huh. We'll talk later. We gonna get any food in here? People who don't work, don't eat. I'm kidding. You knew I was kidding, right? Right. Smile and nod. Someone just volunteered to get the food. It was worth it. Carnivore! Hypocrite! Did you know plants give off chemicals which attract predatory insects when they're attacked? Sounds pretty animal-like to me. You know too much for your own good. That's what my priest used to say. Make sure you're back before dawn. There's an earpiece and a watch. These? Yes, take them with you.
Sometimes I feel so disconnected from everything out there. Nearly a decade of my life gone, searching for those pieces of Eden. Think how great you'll feel when we finally stop the Templars. I'm not sure it will ever end, Desmond. I can't do this forever. I don't buy it. But Lucy I know brought me here and taught me how to see. She would never give up. I guess I trained you pretty well, huh? You did all right. Baby's all ready for you. What do you want? You spoke of a senator at the meeting. Find him on the Campidoglio. You do not need me. Once I kill the banker, your girls must take his money back to the underground. Fine. Stay alert. Where is that senator? No more arguing. Your bill has come due. Make an exception for an old man. No. The banker sent us to collect. I will have his money momentarily. Not good enough. Good Samaritan in Roma. I thought they were a dying breed. Senator Egidio Troche. I don't owe you money too, do I? I am looking for Cesare's banker. Ha! Cesare Borgia. And you are? A friend of the family. Cesare has a lot of friends these days. Unfortunately, I'm not one of them. I can pay. Ma che meraviglia! He fights guards and he gives away money. Where have you been all my life? We better get out of here. I know a place. Oh, maledette letters. I should never have sent them to the ambassador. Now Cesare will murder me. Benvenuto to the home of my brother Francesco. Thank God he's not here. We haven't talked since he found out about the letters. What did you want again? Cesare's banker. Right. I need to arrive with the money. Problem is... There is no man. You are meeting the banker. Where? I never know until I'm there. I go to one of three places. Then his friends take me to him. I will bring you all the money you owe. Sul serio? You need to stop this. You might actually give me hope. I cannot believe you would just do this. There is a condition. I knew it. Keep an eye on the politics of the city. I want you to report back to Maria, at Rosa in Fiore, about targets who are helping the Borgia. And what? You'll make them disappear? The pezzo di merda may hate me, but he's still family. Va bene, we go. I will follow you to the banker. Egidio, it seems you are ready to die like a gentleman. I have the money. Oh. That's different, then. The banker will be pleased. You came alone? Do you see anyone else here? Follow me, Furbacchione. Have you heard anything about my brother, Francesco? Cesare is dealing with him. I hope he's all right. So, what are you going to do with my money? The banker likes to treat his friends well. How generous he is. What did you say? Egidio brought the money. Well, well. The banker has a special evening plan. I will be delivering your payment. Give it here. Hold him until I get back. I better not lose sight of the money. Everything going well in there? We have to go, Luigi, or we'll be late. The count is complete. 
Va bene. Kill him. No. Lucky you. Luigi says he gets to leave. Lead the way, boss. Hand me the chest, Luigi. I will bring it to the banker. You may enter. We can't go in. You have to patrol by order of Cesare. Por Capitana. Cesare? Is he here? Luigi has been killed. We discovered his body at the Pantheon. Luigi? We just let him in. Money for you, banker. I will take that. And that. You are dismissed. Where did I put my coin purse? Honoratissima. Welcome to my party. I am Juan Borja. Cesare is about to speak in the main room, Eccellenza. Come. What better way to celebrate my victories than to join in the Brotherhood of Man? Soon, we will be here once more, celebrating a united Italia. And then, the feasting will last for 40 days and 40 nights. Cominciamo ora! We did not agree to conquer Italia. If your brilliant Captain General says we can do it, why not rejoice and let it happen? You risk upsetting the delicate balance of control we have worked so hard to tighten. I appreciate all that you have done for me, but I have the army, so I am making the decisions. Don't look so dumb. Enjoy yourself. Things I have felt, seen, and tasted, I do not regret a moment of it. A man of power must be contemptuous of delicacies. But I gave the people what they wanted. And now you pay for it. Il piacere immeritato si consuma da se. Reguiescat in pace. Where are Claudia and Maria? We came back with the money. They followed us home. <laughs> what? My sister knows how to wield a knife. And I am ready to do it again. Spoken like a true auditore. Finally, you two came to your senses. It's about time. Who goes there? Salve to you too. That's you! I was expecting my wife. Somehow that does not surprise me. The French putane have us under pressure. Tell me about their general, these Baron de Valois. Cesare persuaded King Louis to lend him an entire army to defeat me. I'm flattered. Where can I find him? It's only a matter of time before I have Valois by the throat. We have them in retreat. They seem to be getting closer. The situation is under control. Close the gates! Benny, so maybe I could use a little help. Bonjour, General Dalviano. Êtes-vous prêt à vous rendre? Why don't you come closer and say that? You must learn how to speak French. 
It would mask your barbaric sensibilities. Perhaps you could teach me, and I would instruct you in fighting, since you seem to do so little of it. As amusing as this parley has been, I'd like your unconditional surrender before sunrise. Ha! My Lady Bianca will whisper it in your ear. I believe another lady might object to that. Mio marito vi ammazzerà tutti. I'll kill you for tutto francese! Calm down, for your wife's sake. You know my terms. Enter my camp unarmed at dawn. And practice your French. Soon all of Italy will be speaking it. I'll get you, pezzo di merda, figlio di puttana! You steal a man's wife and then go hide inside a fortress? Nothing hangs between your thighs. In fact, there is a hole there, so deep it reaches into the maledetto inferno! What good are you to her dead? We will regroup and fight through the gates as we did at the Arsenale. The entrance is thicker with Frenchmen than the streets of Paris. So we will climb the battlements. They cannot be scaled. But the Silea would know what to do. Maybe this is the end. I enter at dawn bearing gifts and hope that coward spares her life. Perché non ci ho pensato prima? What did I say? Call your men back to the barracks. I will explain there. You better have something good. Fall back! So, you have a plan. Once inside, your men can overpower the camp's patrols, correct? Yes, but... Especially if the patrols are taken completely by surprise. Ma certo. Then we need to liberate several suits of French armor. At dawn, we are going to walk right in. Ah! Ezio Auditore! You are truly a man after my own heart. <laughs> Magnifico! I will get the armor. My troops will gather it from the dead. We will then depart from the north, so as not to arouse suspicion. And Ezio, make sure to kill them without a fight. The armor has to stay clean. Bring me a suit of that perverted armor. You are not wearing one. What? It is part of the plan. You surrender to us, we are bringing you to the Baron. Ah, yes. Then what? Your men attack on my signal. Bene! Go change into costume. Don approaches. Get into formation! Que venez-vous faire ici? Mes soldats, conjuise le capitaine italien à son excellence, le Baron. Il vous surround. What part of France are you from? Montréal! Open the gate! There were a couple of French girls in Firenze. <laughs> General Dalviano, it seems that you have seen the light. Enough of your crap! Release my wife! Such entitlement from a man born with nothing to his name. Mine is worth its currency, unlike yours, which is counterfeit. How dare you! You think that commanding an army grants you nobility? Nobility comes from fighting beside your soldiers, not kidnapping a woman to cheat your way out of battle! Why don't you grow up here and release my wife?! You savages never learn. Ezio, you have to save my wife! Take the rooftops! I only wanted respect. 
Respect is earned, not inherited or purchased. Perhaps you are right. I need more time. Che tu sia pari nella morte. Requiescat in pace. Pantasilea! Don't ever disappear again. I was lost without you. Really? But you rescued me. Ezio came up with a brilliant plan. I did not. It was all your husband's idea. It was? You are my prince. Now I better earn that title. You will. Thank you. Buongiorno, Ezio. It is time to pay a visit to Lucrezia's lover, Pietro. I've sent my men now to find him. Molto bene. Ezio, if I may... What is it? Someone warned Rodrigo to stay away from the Castello. Machiavelli? Do you have proof? No. We must not be split apart by mere suspicion. The Borgia know the locations of our spies. Who told them? Maestro Machiavelli asked about our search for Pietro earlier today. Ezio? What were you able to find out? Pietro is to be assassinated this evening. Cesare sent his butcher. Did you uncover information about Pietro? The man is an actor, and he is performing in a play stanotte. What did you find out about Pietro? He is to be suspended from a cross. Micheletto will come for him with a spear. Where is Pietro? I cannot tell you. But Micheletto waits at the city gate east of the Terme di Traiano. He intends to disguise his men to make the killing look like an accident. He will lead me to Lucrezia's lover. Ezio, Machiavelli has betrayed us. We would both wish to deny it, but the truth is now clear. Do what needs to be done. If you don't, I will. Without Volpe's thieves, I may require the help of my recruits. Please, I have done nothing. Francesco Trocchi, dear friend, would I lie to you? You told your brother about my war plans in Romagna, who contacted the ambassador of Venezia. It was an accident. I am still your servant and ally. Are you demanding that I discount your actions and rely on friendship? I am asking, not demanding. To unite Italia, I must have every institution under my control. And if the church does not fall in line, I will eliminate it entirely. You know that I really work for you, not the Pope. Ah, but do I, Troche? There's only one way I can know that unconditionally now. You intend to kill me? Your most loyal friend? Of course not. Are you letting me go? Thank you, Cesare. You will not regret... <coughs> Guards! Give Micheletto the costumes for the play. Lucrezia is mine. No one else shall have her. Make doubly sure it is done correctly. I obey, Cesare. Oh, yes. Dumb Francesco's body in the Tevere. Colosseo. I seek Pietro. He acts on stage, Signore. One of my men will take you to him. Don't forget, I wear the black shirt. Protect me and wait for pilot call to the Centurion to strike. I must get to Pietro before he does.
My God, my God, why hast thou thus forsaken me? Merda, which cross is Pietro's? Hark! Hark how he crieth upon Elijah to deliver him! Wait, and we shall see whether Elijah dare come here or not. My thirst is great. My thirst is great. Yea, thou shalt drink no more. For I was not what I did. Jesus, much have I heard the speak of I need to get on stage. And blind. Through thy pity thou hast healed me for in this city, as thee has healed me today. Thee will I serve, and with... Joseph, already, in good faith, if that centurion says that he is dead, him will I... You cannot say, Pietro. The wine he drank was poisoned. As I promised Cesare, I made doubly sure. I am not yet dead. I did not come here to kill you. He who is the cause of someone else becoming powerful is the agent of his own destruction. Cut him down. This was not in rehearsal. Hold up the guards. He has been poisoned. But Paolo, Cantarella, drink this. Hurry! Give him a moment. I feel slightly better. Leeches will lead to a full recovery. I cannot thank you enough. I... The key to the Castel Sant'Angelo. Now. What are you talking about? I'm simply a poor actor. Cesare knows about you and Lucrezia. Here. Stop! Wait for us! We thought you had been killed, Sir Ezio. Not yet. Where does this passage lead? To the north, outside the walls. Let me through. I must go help the troops. Un momento! You were at the Villa Auditore during the attack! Why did you run? I... You are the traitor, not Machiavelli. Long live the Borgia! Merda! I was right. I have to stop La Volpe before he gets to Machiavelli. I have discovered the traitor. What? One of our men. He was at the villa attack. Here, he carried his letter. My God! This is good news. More than you know. I am once again in your debt, Ezio. What debt is there amongst friends who trust one another? Yes. Thank you for relaying the message in time. Come, Niccolò. It has been far too long since we've talked. I heard the Colosseum Passion Play took an unexpected turn this evening. Really? It seems Jesu Cristo was resurrected three days early. Volpe, how goes Roma? Very well, Ezio. The French and Papal forces are in disarray. Then it is almost time. Call the assassins together. And bring Claudia. Now? Yes. La Ashaya walked on Mutlak, Bel Kulun Mumkin. The wisdom of our creed is revealed through these words. We work in the dark to serve the light. We are assassins. Claudia, we here dedicate our lives to protecting the freedom of humanity. Mario, our father, and our brother once stood around this fire, fighting off the darkness. Now, 
I offer the choice to you. Join us. You and I have not seen eye to eye on many issues. Niccolò! But you are exactly what the Order needed. You have led the charge against the Templars and rebuilt this brotherhood. Now we must put Ezio where he belongs. At the head of the Assassins. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. You will now be known as Il Mentore, the guardian of our Order and our secrets. Where other men blindly follow the truth, remember, nothing, nothing is, is true. true. Where other men are limited by morality and law, remember, everything, everything is, is permitted. Why this sudden change of heart? I have always stood by you. I was the one who brought you to Roma, and the one who caused the explosion as you fled the Castello. The mercenari who protected you at Il Colosseo were mine as well. You just did not know it. Maestro Machiavelli! Cesare has returned to Roma alone! He rides for the Castel Sant'Angelo! Grazie. Well? The decision is yours, not mine. Niccolò, you better not stop telling me what you think. Why else would I seek the opinion of my most trusted advisor? Go kill them, Mentore. Finish what you started. Good advice. I intend to write a book about you one day. If you do, make it short. Get up slowly. How long do we have before the Templar satellite launch? It's October 8th, so that leaves us with... 74 days. Not much time. Think about all that you've been through in the last month. 74 days is a long time. We're getting closer to the apple. I can feel it. If it were up to me, you'd take more breaks. Good thing the fate of the world doesn't rest on your shoulders. Hey, joke all you want, but your mental health is a serious concern. It only takes a couple of months for most Animus users to exhibit extreme side effects, and you've been in for prolonged stretches of time. I'll rest once we have the apple. I was afraid you'd say that. That disrupted memory seems to be getting clearer. It's amazing. The sequence is repairing itself as if we're helping you work through psychological trauma. So I'm gonna be a more balanced person by the end of this? Oh, I have no clue. But the idea is cool. Are you saying that because you feel guilty about frying his brain? Sean's on the train duty. Deal. Oh, of course, yeah. You signed with her. Communists. Any good stories about Cesare? Are you kidding? He was notorious. Get this. In 1502, his top captains rebelled against him. He made concessions to all of them, and they rejoined his army. Then, on New Year's Eve in 1503, he got them together inside a room in Sinigalia. Everyone was arrested. Two were put back to back and strangled by Micheletto that very night. The rest were thrown into chains and, and killed a few weeks later. Wow. The amazing thing is that Cesare was so friendly during the months before, they never saw the trap coming. Machiavelli called him the Master Deceiver. So Cesare was pretty secretive. Yeah, yeah he was, yeah, except, weirdly, when it came to sex. After his wedding, he sent a letter to the Pope explicitly describing the intercourse on his wedding night. According to the letter, Cesare and his French bride did the deed eight times. Isn't that a Catholic thing? What? You're supposed to send the Pope a letter about your wedding night. Let's the old guy live a little, you know? You know, that sounds quite plausible, actually. You're all set to go.
want to see the Pope! His Holiness waits for you at the top of the castell in his apartments. Get out of my way! I don't understand. I ordered a fresh batch of La Cantarella last night. I am terribly sorry, Mia Signora, but the Pope has taken it all. Where is the Pope? He meets with Cesare. Strange. He did not tell me Cesare had returned. That woman gives me so much trouble. Why didn't I stay in the stables? What a family this Pope has. What has happened here? I do not know what you mean. My funds, my troops, gone! Financial difficulties strike all of us, even those with an army. You intend to give me money? No, I do not. Then I will use the peace of Eden to get what I want. Your help is not necessary. That has been made abundantly clear to me. Are you aware that the Baron de Valois is dead? No. Did you? What reason could I possibly have to kill him? Was he plotting against me with my brilliant traitorous Captain General? I do not have to stand for this! The assassins murdered him. But why did you not stop them? As if I could. It was not my decision to attack Monterigione. It was yours! It is high time you took responsibilities for your actions. My accomplishments! Despite the constant interference of failures like you! You are not going anywhere. I have the peace of Eden. Get out of my way, old man. I gave you everything. And yet it's never enough. Cesare! He intends to poison you! You would not listen to reason. Father, do you not see? I control all of this. If I want to live, I live. If I want to take, I take. If I want you to die, you die! <laughs> Where is the peace of Eden? Stop! I know where it is! And you did not tell me he had taken it? Cesare, it's me, your queen. You are my sister, nothing more. Where is it? You never loved me? Where is the apple? Tell me! Je tell me! All right, Cesare. I am coming through that window. 
Am I hurting you? Give me the apple! It's mine, not you yours! Escape. I want the apple! <laughs> Smart decision, little sister. Requiescat in pace. I know... <clears throat> I know where that bastard is going. San Pietro. The pavilion in the courtyard. <clears throat> Thank you. Assassino! Cazzo. I will come for you, Fate. Looking for this. It ends now, assassino. My sword will take your life. remaining supporters. The coming weeks are critical. With your aid, I will hunt him down. My men will patrol the city, but we might need an army. We have one. You must find them. They are everywhere and nowhere at once. I do not care how you do it. We cannot on our own, Signore. You must help us. I am ill, you idiot! Micheletto will soon be here with my armies, and then you will see how quickly the Assassini fall. You delude yourself, Cesare. God! What sorcery is this? Do not smite me! Cardinal revealed under stress that Cesare plans to meet with Templar loyalists in the countryside. The Cardinal departs for the meeting tonight. I will follow him. Join me and I will take back Roma. We have decided to elect Della Rovere to the papacy. We are sorry. I paid for your appointment. Roma is not the same as it once was. Borgia Mani has become tainted. You will regret this decision! Assassino! Run! Hired men promise you their blood, but as soon as you need help, they turn against you. Guards! Kill him! My men tell me Cesare rallies his best soldiers in front of the main gate into Roma. Gather the assassins. We face him together. All of Italia shall be united! And you will rule beside me! Come to watch my triumph! Soon Micheletto and his army will arrive, but you shall be dead before then. 
insieme per la vittoria! Vittoria agli assassini! Vai per gli avvertelli! E noi! Throw down your arms, Cesare Borgia. Michelletto's troops mass behind me. We will take back my city once and for all. This is not your city anymore. By order of Pope Julius II, I arrest you, Cesare Borgia, for the crimes of murder, betrayal, and incest. No! 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 This is not how it ends! Chains will not hold me! I will not die by the hands of man! It was the manner in which he said it. Chains will not hold me. If you are so worried, there is a way to find out. No, it is too powerful. It must be hidden outside the domain of men. What a shame. Hiding a masterpiece where no one will ever see it. And yet... What if he meant what he said? I cannot risk it. Cesare was right. I have to leave. What about your friends? I built this brotherhood to last. With or without me. What do you intend to do? Plant a seed. Here, a gift. If this is goodbye... Then keep your money. I do not want it. We will see each other again. You have my word. Buona fortuna, my oldest friend. And take the money. On your meager salary, you will need it. My patron has been arrested after all. The apple you stole from Mario Avitore let me hear. Kill him! Kill the assassin! Tear the maldito bastardo to pieces! I need munitions. Faster to travel by horse. De Navarrese. Yet he wants rule. Right here, we'll get out. Long wow. Spare me, please. Don't do this. Go. Have at him! 
anything. Cesare! The wall surround you! There is nowhere to run! Come then, Ezio! I cannot die! Fortuna will not fail me! I am the best fighter who ever lived! Stay back! Never! An auditory will never best Mine. Wanting something does not make it your right. What do you know? That a true leader empowers the people he rules. I will lead mankind into a new world. Che nessuno ricordi il tuo nome. Requiescat in pace. You cannot kill me. No man can murder me! Then I leave you in the hands of fate. was mine! What do you know? I will lead mankind into a new world. You cannot kill me! No man can murder me!
Got it. Coliseum. Let's go. We can be there before dawn. Wait, there was something about that door. I don't think I saw a handle. Let me run an analysis. Great. So we need some kind of futuristic key. It seems to open with a verbally triggered mechanism. I I've never seen anything like it. You mean it needs a password? Try humming Beethoven's fifth. Damn European power grid. Now we can't scan Ezio's memories to find the password. Hey, maybe it has something to do with this. Symbol matches the one on the door to the vault. 1419, 1420, 1421. What if they aren't dates? 1419, 1420. Oh my god. What? God! Tell us already! I am, I am, I am! The Tetragrammaton, the 72 names of God, you see? They're all contained within three verses, Exodus 19 through 21. And get this, you'll like this, if you arrange the four Hebrew letters in God's name within an equilateral triangle, their numerical values add up to the same number. 72. Are you absolutely sure about this? That's kind of why I'm saying it out loud, Rebecca, yeah, but I haven't got to the kicker yet. Construction on the Colosseum began in the year 72. I think we have our password. Sean, go get the van. Deja vu. I bet. Let's go. Whoa, 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 what about us, eh? You might actually need a historian down there. Sean's right. That tunnel should lead under Capitoline Hill. I'll help them find another entrance. Be careful, Desmond. I'll drive. Ah, yeah, nice try. I've seen your car. Lucy, I'm making my way toward the entrance. Okay, good. If you see any gladiators, my advice would be leg it. I'll keep that in mind. I can't believe I'm actually going to hold the apple. It's been a long time coming. You've earned it. I wonder if it'll change things. Whether it can tip the scales in our favor. I'm sure it will. It has to. Something's bothering me. Today's date is October 10th. So? Guess how many days there are until the Templar satellite launch. I have a feeling I know the answer. 72. Why is today so important? Just picking up the apple and leaving. It's the door code. Someone wants to make sure we get it right. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm back on familiar ground. to this space the epilogue of our ending. Let it be found by he who is deemed worthy. Let it guide him. 
Let it shape his path forward. Let it save the world we leave behind. Who are you? What's going on, Desmond? Nothing. In the beginning, we set our truths to parchment, to stone, to the memory of men. These proved impermanent things. Cleansed by fire. Cleansed by famine. Cleansed by flood. All the world is innocent once more. Innocent and ignorant. Coming. Took you long enough. What is this place? Santa Maria Araqueli. See those columns along the aisles? They're lifted from Roman ruins. Now, supposedly, this church was built on top of the ancient temple of Juno. I like the ceiling. Do you? You like the ceiling? Oh, you are a fascinating traveling companion. something up there. Oh, well, we'll just stay down here then, shall we? Just pray or something. do anything. It's a dead end. I'm not so sure. Kill us, mate. You're gonna have to try a little harder than that. We're here. Now for that password. Sean's right, that is. I'm always right. About that dead end. That never happened. I was misquoted. Think it speaks English? Just say it. Okay. Seventy two. After 
after you, I, I think. You guys have to see this. This is amazing. Wow. I'm actually impressed. The apple seems to be in the center. Time to find out where those temples are. spaceship and fly away. Think about it. A hundred years I might speak and still you would not know us. You with five senses. So where are the temples? You want me to ask it? Or think it or something. You sure you asked it the right thing? I know this, I know that symbol. That, that's a Phrygian cap. It stands for freedom, and that, that's a Masonic eye. Now those two come together in only one place. What's that? I, I can't move. Your DNA communes with the apple. You have activated it. Let me go! On the 72nd day before the moment of awakening, you, birthed from our loins and the loins of our enemies, the end and the beginning, who we abhor and honor, the final journey commences. There is one who would accompany you through the gate. She lies not within our sight. The cross darkens the horizon. What are you doing? The path must be opened. You cannot escape your part in this. The scales shall be balanced. Stop! Please! You know very little. We must guide you. Cease your struggle. No! It is done. The way lies all before you. Only she remains to be found. Awaken the Sixth. Go, alone! Shit! He's gone into shock! Put him back in the machine! It's the only way to fix this. But the Animus did this to him! Am I the expert or not? Do it! No. 